no matter the location. From OAK LA to LV, I'm a Raider. Raider games, man, they're nail biters. And if your nails look like mine, you need Shears Point 2.0 from Manscaped. So they got nail filers. They have ways to make sure that your fingernails are pretty. Heck, even your toenails. You, your wife, if she wants to make sure her toenails look good, she can use the scissors as well. Go to manscaped.com slash Raiders. We're going to be able to save 20% and get free shipping on all Manscaped products. They have products that are not just for your, you know, your downstairs. They also have them for your hands too, which is very, very important. So now we're going to get into today's mailbag. So if you want your questions featured on the show, I want you to use hashtag Raiders or you can super chat. When you use hashtag graders, that tells producer Dylan, hey, these are the questions that I need to put on there. Or super chat, you get on right away, jump in the line of 450 people watching live right now. Aaron, what's up, brother? Does Arnett end up starting by the end of the year? This is a great question. And if you've been following me on Twitter, I've been talking a lot about how Damon Arnett is actually right now starting over Prince Amu Kamara. Now, a lot of the times when you see the first padded practices, certain players aren't out there. But when the Raiders ran out their first team defense in the first 11 on 11 drills, it was Trayvon Mullen and it was Damon Arnett as the starting cornerbacks. Let's go to Raider Al 916. Any update on Trent Brown and Josh Jacobs? So from what I've heard, Josh Jacobs, he's okay. They're just trying to rest him a little bit. When it comes to Trent Brown, he has missed now seven straight practices. This seems like another case of them just making sure that he is 100% healthy. Obviously, you don't like to see two of your top offensive players, two of your top players in general, not showing up to practice. Josh, from what I know, is totally okay. Trent does make me a little bit more nervous, though, because he did battle so many injuries last year. But he played in only 11 games last year, battled injuries, and was still able to make the Pro Bowl. So I'm feeling pretty confident that both these players are going to be ready to rock and roll come week one. All right, continue to use hashtag graders. Next one's from Giovanni Miranda. Giovanni. I need you to get a picture, brother. Uh, who has more receptions, Jason Witten or Foster Moreau? You know what? You and I think a lot alike. I was going to bring this one up. So you know what? I'm going to make this the pinned comment on today's video. Who's going to have more receptions in 2020? If you think it's going to be Jason Witten, type W. If you think it's going to be Foster Moreau, type M for Moreau. So for those of you that are watching this on YouTube, you might get with a YouTube ad break. While the ad is playing, scroll on down and let me know. W for Jason Witten, or I want you to type M for Foss Moreau. All right, what you got here? Cortez Mauricio, 56. Will Tom Flores finally be in the Hall of Fame? Seems like the Hall of Fame voters are obviously Raider haters. So, Cortez, is Flores going to make the Hall of Fame? I want everyone to say it with me. Four Chucky heads, believe it, baby. Tom Flores is getting into the Hall of Fame. I've made numerous videos saying why he should. He's got, he's him and Mike Dick are the only, I guess, player coaches to win a Super Bowl as a player and as a coach. First Hispanic coach. I mean, it goes on and on. Flores deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Let's go to El Tiburon Alvardo Sr. What's up, man? Ruggs makes rookie of the year. Uh, the only reason why I'm going to say no is because if Josh Jacobs didn't win an offensive rookie of the year last year, I don't anticipate Ruggs doing it. They're probably going to give it to a quarterback like they do every single year. All right, what do we got here? I see Sean. What's up, brother? All right, Raider Nation for life. So everyone type Raider Nation for life. Everyone type just win, baby. Real men wear black. I could not agree with you anymore. And, Sean, I can tell you're a big Raider fan. So how about this? On a scale of zero being you're a Cowboys fan to 100 being you're the biggest Raider fan of all time, how big of a Raider fan are you? So I love asking these questions because I want you to be honest. Rustin Long was first. I got a 100. I got a 98 from Chris Smith, uh, 75 from Connor DeLuca. Guys, I, I love the honesty. I do. But this is like a teacher handing you a test and saying, whatever grade you give yourself is what you get. Give yourself a 100. I mean, it's all good here. Uh, Derek Frazier says 100. Seeing a lot of 100s, every single person that watches this video, type 100 in the comment section. So, this is the number one show on YouTube for all Raiders content. I always try to keep it 100 with y'all. We do a lot of interactive shows as well, which you're watching right now. Tuesday live show, which went on, what, this is what, the 18th, August 18th, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. We do news, we do rumors, 
The show is growing over 50K subs, and if you haven't hit that sub button yet and you're watching live, make sure you do. Got a giveaway coming up. Let's go to Derek. What's up, my brother? Mitch, if we don't make the playoffs this year, what is the first move you'll make? So if the Raiders don't make the playoffs, what's the first move I'll make? I'll probably do the surrender, Cobra. It would probably be the first one. Uh, hand over the face, no. If the Raiders don't make the playoffs, we're going to talk about Derek Carr. Whether you like it or not, that's going to be the conversation because it doesn't matter the numbers you put up. Derek's coming off a career high in yards, coming off a career high in completion percentage. If he doesn't win football games with a 39-55 and 55 career record, People are going to want to move on from them, and I think that's actually the first move that the Raiders will make. Let's go to DeMonkey underscore 69. Everyone start typing 69. Will Joyner improve, or will Amik Robertson steal a spot by the end of the season? I think uh, so far from what I've seen, LaMarcus has been battling some injuries in training camp. I know the hype has been really high around Amik Robertson. From the people that I know that are watching him practice, he's looked good sometimes, and then he's also looked like a rookie here and there. I think that Joyner is going to be able to play a lot better in the second year. He spoke a lot about how confusing he thought Gunther's system was. Last year, he's also spoke about how he tried to play so many different roles because of the different injuries the Raiders had. With Amik Robertson, he's going to get his time. Do I think he takes his spot by the end of the season, though? I'd be lying to say that I, does, I don't hope it happens, but uh, I'm also hoping that it doesn't happen because that means LaMarcus is doing his job and playing well. So next question. i got a little trivia for you all, all right? Do you know what Ken Stabler's nickname is? Throw it in the comment section. And if you want to put the emoji, hey, that's all good too. So, come on, what do we got here? I see, all right, we finally got the emoji. I'm seeing the snake. Snake, does nobody know what it is? Somebody said just true. I think you meant for something else. Come on, let's get some snakes in there. I got a burp, excuse me. So, snakes, continue to have them coming in here. Give me a sec. Tell him thirsty? Really thirsty. <clears throat> Is your girlfriend thirsty? Well, she would be if you took care of your Ken Stabler and you can. Go to manscaped.com slash Raiders. We're going to be able to get 20% off and free shipping. The lawnmower 3.0 fits great in your hand. And if you want it to fit great in her hand, then go to manscaped.com slash Raiders. Seriously, guys, I am just trying to help you. I do use these products all the time. The reason why the lawnmower 3.0 is the best in the biz is because you can use it in the shower. You can use it for like eight straight hours. No tug. It's not going to cut you. You're going to be silky, silky smooth. And their, their slogan is, your balls will thank you. No, like that's actually Manscaped's slogan. And can you hear that? Can you hear my balls? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I told you. They're going to thank you. Promise you. Go to manscaped.com slash Raiders, 20% off. And get free shipping. All right, we'll get back into the questions now. Devin, get a picture. Be completely honest, always. Who do you think will be the best rookie wide receiver this season? There has been an insane amount of hype around Brian Edwards. And that does it excite me? Yes, absolutely it does. I've even heard rumors that he's been running with first team over Tyrell Williams. The correct answer is Henry Ruggs, though. Henry Ruggs is going to get the most opportunity. I still think that Henry Ruggs is the most talented player. I am very, very excited to see what Brian Edwards brings. And I do think that he's going to be the reason why Tyrell potentially isn't on the team next year. But it's Henry Ruggs. But if y'all want to get your votes in, type R for Ruggs, which I see Rafa says Ruggs. I see Roland says Ruggs. But I do have a Edwards from Arthur. Bottom line is this. We have two very, very good players. And if Edwards can stay healthy, you're looking at the future wide receivers of your Las Vegas Raiders. Giovanni Miranda using hashtag Raiders. If you want your question on the show, you can also super chat. We got over 530 people watching right now. So get on the show. Please, please super chat. Who leads the Raiders in receptions? This is a great question. I'm going to go tight end. Darren Waller led the team last year. 90 catches, 1,145 yards and three touchdowns. When you go back and look at Derek, his entire career, he has really leaned on the tight end position. Jared Cook. He's also relied, obviously, on Darren last year. I've seen a lot of people say Hunter Renfro. I'm going to say pump the brakes on him a little bit. You could also throw out the name like a Henry Ruggs, but I, I'm going to go with Darren Waller. Then I'm going to go with Ruggs. Then I'm going to say Renfro. Probably going to be my top three, top three picks there for uh, leading the team in receptions. But y'all can let me know. I've seen some Darren Wallers in there. Somebody said Henry Ruggs. I'm all good with it. 
And then, yeah, of course, I got Hunter Renfro. Let me know who leads the team in receptions in 2020. Kevin Robbins, 115. Are we going to be stronger on offense or on defense? It's offense for me. I mean, the offensive line is a top three unit in the entire league. Derek Carr, top 15 quarterback. Receiver-wise, they have gotten a lot better. We have one of the best tight end groups in the league. Yes, you've seen a lot of hype around the defensive positions or defensive players. I think it's because they are really trying to hype up the defense. But offense is going to be better, so I'm going to type my O for offense. Let's go to Joe. What's up, brother? Player with the most sacks this season. So in the entire NFL, I'll, I'll go with uh, – can, we could cheat here. I'll go with Watt. <laughs> um, now, on the Raiders, I'll go with Max Crosby. He had 10 last year. I don't know if he's going to get 10 this upcoming season because there's more mouths to feed. But, yeah, if you had asked me, I'm going to go with Max Crosby. Let's go to Juicehead89. was like watching about three hours ago, and it was commenting, so appreciate you. What's up, Mitch? Who will make the most impact on our team, and do you think this will be our year? So our year, when I think of our year, I think of Super Bowl. Do I think the Raiders can win the Super Bowl? Any team can win the Super Bowl. I mean, the 49ers were 4-12, and 12, then they went to the Super Bowl. Uh, we got to get past the Chiefs, so we'll, we'll see how well we can, can compete with Kansas City in Week 5. Are we going to be better? Yeah, I do think so. But the most impactful player on the team, I mean, it's got to be Derek, right? I mean, you need your quarterback to make the biggest impact. Let's go to Devin. Straight flexing on me. Do you think Josh Jacobs can be a top five running back for next season? So next season, yes. This season, also yes. I've seen a lot of the rumors out there around him getting 60 catches. I'm not going to go that far. But you all know that I love fantasy football. If you don't take Josh Jacobs in a standard league in your top five, I think you're making a big, big mistake. He's going to get a lot of carries. The offense is totally opened up, and I'm really excited to see what he's going to be able to do this upcoming season. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching and go Raiders.